Now for the final three compositions. This one is the X or the leaning T composition. Chernikov actually produced this T composition. So you can see when you're squinting that the lines create that T. The key is that you don't have two solid lines that cross. You want to break up that line and make it more interesting. Wherever the lines meet, broken up or not, it will create your focal point. And that's what you want. So he has gray elements on that are going vertically and horizontally. He has orange elements and he has beige elements that are all broken up different sizes and rearranged to create that X. Franz Klein did something similar. He creates that X and it's a little bit like a meandering composition with an X combined. But wherever the elements meet, you get your focal point. Bocchioni did the same thing. Here he adds a little different element. He adds circles. So the circles help create that T. Where the elements meet, you have a focal point. And that's where the T or the X is created. The X composition here with clay is random. But if you squint, it looks very much like the straight lines have crossed with vertical lines and they're all broken up. Like I said before, breaking them up is what it is all about. Franz Klein again. And what he does is he uses the darks in contrast them with the lights to create that T composition. Now it's not even Steven, as they say. So there are larger blacks and smaller blacks. But when you squint, the composition becomes an X. That's your goal. Schwitters did the same thing here. He's creating that T. He's a little more obvious. I call it a T and I call it an X, so it can be both. So he, he has vertical elements and he, or diagonal elements, I should say, that go vertically. And then he has horizontal elements that go diagonally and that creates your composition. But notice how it's not blunt and bold. He breaks things up with other shapes. And the fact that he creates lights against darks, that's really what makes our eye think it's an X composition. This is one that is more subtle. So you really need to squint for this one and look for the darks and then look for the light. Yanov, what she does here is subtle marks creating that X composition. Schwitters again, he loves this composition and he always incorporates circles in there. But the strong elements are always the leaning verticals and the leaning horizontals to create that X. Frankenthaler, it looks like a horizontal composition, but squint and look at it carefully and follow those darks. When you squint and follow those darks, you have the X, an actual X composition. Loosely done, done mostly with color. Value is very important. So the darker values create that X and the lighter values just add contrast. Wuki, same thing. It's an X, but it looks broken up and that's what you want. There's a focal point in one area a lighter area, a brighter area against the dark, and dark elements are all scattered to create that X composition. Brooker does the same thing, but in a different style. Now notice how style is not the important part. Style is only the background that you use for the composition. So all kinds of artists with different styles created these compositions, or I shouldn't say created the compositions. They used the composition for their own style. So Brooker here has verticals and that are leaning and horizontals that are leaning and it creates an X. Chagall is the same thing. You have diagonals and then also vertical elements all broken up to create that X.